All right, guys, I'm going to be shooting a video today on um, Uphold.com. <clears throat> so what is Uphold.com? Uphold is a, uh, a wallet exchange, and uh, you can buy cryptos on it. You can buy uh, currencies through, like, foreign exchange, and you can buy stocks. So it's kind of a combination of all three. Um, I actually kind of like that about Uphold, so it doesn't just you know, limit you to one set of assets. Uh, but today I just wanted to walk through and give you an overview of the interface here, show you how it works, show you where to go, show you how to make a transaction on here as well, and then I'll take you over to uh, some of the, the facts and questions, okay? So just getting started, when you create an account with Uphold, again, if you just go out here to Google, okay, just type in Uphold, It'll take you right here. You're gonna you're gonna click on the link. You're gonna want to sign up, and once you sign up your account, okay, it's gonna take you here. Now there are a few things you're gonna have to do uh, as far as verifying your identification. The easiest way to do that is through your mobile um, mobile phone. Uh, download the mobile app through the uh, Google Play Store, and then follow the instructions. So you can have it on your desktop and on your mobile app. Uh, so verifying your identity does it's a little tricky at first um, but once you get that verified you're good to go and you can make your first deposit into and fund the account for uphold here uh, but in order to fund the account okay you're gonna go up here before you do anything <clears throat> you're gonna have to link either a bank account or a credit card okay so you just again you're gonna go click on from come down here you can if you want to add a credit card or a debit card just hit that plus sign and scan for your card number month date and year CVV number okay once you add the card then you can then you can go ahead and do a transaction and you would select your card okay notice it brought the card up what you can do is just type in the amount Oh, I'm sorry. Just type in the amount in USD. And then you're going to select two. And you can select whatever currency it is you want to buy. Okay? So, like, if I want to buy Theta, I could just go right here to Theta. It's going to tell you 500 from credit card, 500 USD is the amount. And it's going to allow me to buy 7847. I could preview deposit. It's pretty much instant at that point with credit card very seamless um, let me go ahead and refresh real quick if you want to get rid of that screen there just refresh takes you back to an empty screen um, so that's that's funding an account okay again click from if you want to add a bank account you're gonna go up here you're gonna select your currency Canadian do dollar euro pound sterling US dollar for me I'd, I'd do US dollar you can do a bank account or a wire transfer Okay, deposits that are larger amounts. Um, this says there's free deposits of above five thousand dollars. Okay, we'll cover that in the uh, the facts and questions here in a little bit because they get into talking about uh, wait times on ACHs and whatnot. But that's where you go to select a deposit method, set up your account. If you want to do a bank account, just click there. It'll walk you through here. You're going to click on continue. And then it gives you a list of banks. If you don't see your bank in there, type in the bank's name here on the search field. So like if it's a central bank, for instance, you know, it'll, it'll give you a list of other banks that are not on the, not on the list. Um, so that's how you go to banks. Again, you would enter your routing number, your account number. Go ahead and connect the account. And then follow that same process. So to, to deposit, click from. You're going to select the uh, the bank because the bank will at that point be linked. And you would do just follow the same process that you did with the credit card. So you just select your bank, <clears throat> enter the amount, and then where it's going to uh, if you want to buy a, a crypto directly. So it, it works a little bit different than Coinbase, okay? Coinbase, you can direct directly deposit US dollars 
and and you don't have to you know immediately buy another uh, asset in order to to make the transaction complete it's just a deposit here it's a deposit but when it deposits it's actually gonna make a transaction for you at the same time um, over here you got the watch list okay so you can watch recent activity uh, if we go to activity you can see right now it keeps keeps track for you of like how much money you deposited the dates all of that uh, over here you got total balance on basically what's what's in my balance account right now okay so whenever, whenever you got assets that you hold they're gonna show up right here on the middle screen If we go to markets this shows you all the markets okay so you've got uh, right here you're following Bitcoin ether US dollar XRP I don't think you can add anything to following on this um, I haven't figured that out yet if I do I may shoot a video on it but you got cryptocurrencies down here okay here's all the cryptos you can uh, choose from so they've got Cardano Chainlink Chia Compound Dash you know the list goes on you can click show more brings up a whole nother list here and keep going down then you got equities okay so this is your stocks all right that's pretty cool kind of exposes you to uh, some of the major stocks in traditional markets again show more all right got that then you got utility tokens down here and then you got stable coins so you can do USDC um, I like this feature right here because if you want to withdraw okay let's say you uh, trade theta or, or you know you make a big trade and you make a lot of profits right um, you want to get out and back into US dollars now normally you'd probably be able to do this if you had your bank account linked unfortunately for me my bank account is not listed uh, when you do a search therefore if that is the case and your bank does not show up under the search option when you when you go to link your bank account the other thing you can do is when you sell your asset okay for instance on mine I'm dealing in cryptos so what I could do is take my theta uh, that I hold right now and I could go back into uh, the uh, USD coin here USDC and then from there I can move uh, USDC coin from inside uphold over to my account in Coinbase okay and there's a specific way to do that as well but without without having um, you know an actual withdrawal to to do here it's kind of it's gonna be hard for me to show you that but what do you, what do, you do is you just take like theta for instance and let's say I want to sell all my theta right and then I want to go to and in order to make that switch into USDC I would go over here I go to stable coins show more and I would select the USD USDC coin and you can see it'll give you uh, four hundred twenty seven dollars and eighteen cents on the USDC coin okay so that's one for one on the US dollar I'd preview trade at that point when I got USDC I could then show you how to move that money over into a another account um, I'll have to make another video on that at a later date when I'm ready to do that um, but basically what you would want to do is do a transaction kind of like this where up here it's going to be from USDC coin and then down here under two okay I would have to select the uh, crypto networks you would select crypto networks and then you'll come down here and select your your network okay so for USDC coin I'd select that and it's gonna ask for an address when it does that okay I can't do it right now again guys because I'm not liquidating I'm still in a trade and I don't want to do that for for the sake of this video um, or for the sake of my trade I don't want to lose money on it so we'll just refresh real quick so just remember when you go to withdraw you're gonna click from select your asset that you want to withdraw and then go down to two and select the network right now guys for theta uphold so if you buy theta 
you cannot move it off the exchange, if you do find an asset that you cannot move off the exchange because they don't have a network for it yet, again, do what I do what I showed you before. You can convert it to USDC, okay, one for one with the US dollar, and you can move it over into Coinbase. All right, and that's that's just specifically for cryptos. Um, traditional markets, you're not going to have that problem, of course, or you shouldn't. Um, Let's go over here real quick. There's another cool option here, or feature, with integrations. Okay, you can choose to link your wallet to any of the third-party apps below. So there's a big list here that you can you can choose from, and add different features inside the wallet here. Um, this is where you go to, for your security. Okay, so you can you can set up a two-step verification. They got preferences. Uh, you can set up notifications through email, so forth, so on. Let's go back up here to the menu. All right, so that's that's uphold for you guys. Um, again, like I said, I will shoot a, another video when I get ready to liquidate and move my my funds from Theta into USDC and then move it over into uh, Coinbase, and I'll try to do that. You know, shooting a, a live video for you, so you can you can get an idea of how that works. If we go over here to facts, right now this is a, a link for support. And by the way, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can sign up with Uphold, sign up for an account, start using them, and then I'll give you this link here too, which is uh, from support. Okay, because you need to know this too, Uphold has a free service okay now it's not a free service even though they say it's free they ch they do charge zero percent commissions on trades and zero percent withdrawal and deposit fees however you'll pay for certain activities such as withdrawing funds okay to private wallets on crypto networks or to do or to banks through swift network in a small number of countries okay uh, they also include a small spread in the price of any asset you buy. So, they they have to make their money somehow, and that's how they're making it. Um, over here, I just want to show you this real quick, too. Uh, they say you have to wait 65 days before withdrawing U.S. dollar deposits. Um, here's the answer for that. You don't just deposit using a debit or credit card, and there's no cooldown for amounts over 5000 Send us a wire. And we'll waive our wire deposit fee of $20. Our wire instructions can be found here. So just go to this link right here that I have in the description. Okay. If you want to do a wire, just click right there from recently viewed articles. It'll take you here. And then just click on the here link. You know, that'll, that'll give you the wire instructions and it'll walk you through that process. Uh, the 65-day pause only applies to deposits from a U.S. bank account via the ACH network. And remember, you can always withdraw the deposit back to your U.S. bank account after just four, four to five business days. Um, so you can withdraw the deposit back to your U.S. bank account if you have a bank account linked. And you're going to have to wait four to five business days. Uh, not too bad. I mean, honestly, the only reason why I looked it up, uphold guys, it was because Theta. I'm a big investor in Theta, and Theta was not on U.S. exchanges for U.S. citizens. So, uh, as soon as it was listed on Uphold, I went ahead and did that. The other place you can go to buy Theta and T Fuel right now would be on the Exodus wallet. Um, I don't have an Exodus account, so at the moment I'm not shooting a video on Exodus, but I set up a uh, an account here with Uphold um, for the time being and figured out shoot a video on it. Again, if you do use the link, um, this is just kind of a disclaimer, if you use the link in the description for signing up with Uphold, uh, it is a referral link, okay, because, because I am affiliated with Uphold, so just know that ahead of time. And if you're using my affiliate link, I do get a reward for it. Um, I'm not asking you to use it, but if, if you want to use it, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, with that said, though, that's all I have on Uphold. If you like what, you, what you're seeing here and you like the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, 
guys, I'll have another video coming out here uh, sometime this week. And I'm going to take you through uh, Theta Wallet and Gpool, and I'm going to show you how to stake Theta, okay, so you can earn passive income uh, with Theta through Gpool using their computing resources as a guardian node. So stay tuned for that. And uh, as usual, guys, these, these markets are very volatile. They go up and down. Of course, you've seen the market so far, you know, over the past like week and a half or two, we've we've had a huge, huge crash of over 50%. Um, these guys want what you have. Just remember that the big banks want, want what you have. So with that said, have diamond hands. And uh, as usual, be a lion. Fear nothing, my friends. Till next time.